Hey everyone, what's going on? It is me, Christine. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Hello, hello, hello. And hello to the guy that decided to park right beside me with his window full ass open. Today I'll be sharing with y'all my fitness diary from the past couple months. Partially due to the state of the world within the past couple months, it has really helped me get into fitness. Get back into fitness. Also, before I really get into this video, please, please know I always want to make this very known in my videos. I'm not here to offend you. What I'm saying is my opinion of myself uh, based on my experience. Before we deep dive into the video, briefly talking about Black Lives Matter and the broadness of it, I want to refrain from saying you need to or you have to or you should. I believe that if I am going to speak on the topic, it should be a dedicated, really conversational video, but I feel the heavy, heavy need to at least address it in this video. I think that we should always remember that everyone is human. I believe that when we do XYZ, do it out of love, really educate yourself. That has been one of my biggest takeaways from all this is to educate. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. And if y'all want a full video on just a very conversational video about what's going on, I'd be willing to do it. Sorry if I'm looking down, I do have points just to make sure things are as chronological as possible. So let's take it back to the end of Chloe Ting. I did the Chloe Ting two week ab thing. There were results surprisingly. If you want to check it out, links will be down below. After getting those results, there was a little bit of momentum from that, but it very, not very quickly, but it quickly slowed. After about three weeks of doing that challenge, I wasn't doing, I wasn't exercising. Just the momentum from doing the challenge and getting results faded. So about three weeks after I basically fell off of my fitness, I'm gonna read this off, but TikTok. TikTok. So, you know, you're scrolling, you're looking at harm, harmless workout videos and results and just any like fitness video in general. You're just scrolling, but it slowly turns into comparison or shame or even hatred. Seriously. PSA. I'm sorry that I'm reading it. Like, I'm telling you, it, it, it did come from my heart. I just, I wanted to make sure that I'm using my words wisely. Falling into a need to get there trap. I am so, so sorry to the young, young people who aren't able yet to catch themselves before falling into the trap. I am, I'm sorry, and I know it's not like something that I've done. I'm not trying to speak on behalf of the world or this generation or anything like that, but just know that I'm sorry that if you're young and you're just out here harmlessly scrolling about and what started as fitness inspiration turns into you literally comparing yourself, whether that's your body or your skin or your hair or or your lifestyle, like whatever it is, it's it's natural and it happened to me. For me, it was what started out as fitness inspiration and skincare like tips really turned into me comparing myself to how other people's abs looked or arms looked. I'm so thankful that I'm at a point in my life where I'm able to detect when I am falling into those patterns, thoughts, into the trap and I can catch myself and healthily get out. So I realized if I want abs I want abs to come from me working hard and wanting them for myself. I want to honor my body and I want to be strong. At the end of the day, if I have abs and I'm not strong, what's the point? In my opinion, remember that. I don't have life-changing advice for you. Just know I'm sorry. You are so gorgeous and I know that you are on the other side of the screen right now and you probably don't believe me. You're like, this girl's being way too cheesy right now. But like, whether or not you believe me, I believe that you are so beautiful and gorgeous and you're worth it. I believe it. Moving on. So after I kind of dug myself out of that, to get things going healthily, I started walking. And the walking kind of started as me trying to do another challenge. I didn't end up doing it, but I did take measurements. So around this time, I was about 10 inches around the arm. My waist was 27 inches flexed, 27 and a half inches relaxed, and my lower belly area just under my belly button was 30 inches. I started going on walks like literally just walks. I'd walk about two to three kilometers every day. I walked about three kilometers. Like of course, some days I just wouldn't go out and take a walk, but for the most part, every day, that time spent walking helped me clear my head 
and gave me some time to breathe the fresh air and after that I started doing the Chloe Ting video after my walk so I'd go in the evening time after dinner I'd do my sometimes one two three sometimes four kilometer walk come home and then do the Chloe Ting workout this is the video in specific I know she has a couple videos out there after a bit of doing that the Chloe Ting exercises got a little bit too repetitive so I tried um, a Jillian Michaels ab workout video and an exit video. I even tried doing a dance cardio video which was so fun. I was surprisingly very sore from that so I'll link all those videos down below. Especially when it would rain and I couldn't do my walk. It was a nice way to switch it up A but also get some cardio in. So at this point things got a little bit repetitive just following the videos and I also realized the exercises that I do like, that I prefer, that I feel are really helping me get stronger. The car is gone! And so what I started to do was just go on Spotify, shuffle a playlist of mine and just do those ab exercises that I really enjoyed, new ones that I've learned for two to three songs. Once again, some days I do it for one song, sometimes I do it for four songs. The average, two to three. I did have this weird fear. I wanted to switch things up, A, but B, I was scared that if I was gonna switch things up, I was gonna lose the progress that I had made. It's a dumb fear because at the end of the day, if you're moving, you're moving. Like, it's not, I don't know. I just had this weird fear because my fear at the end of the day was like, oh, if I, I'm doing all this and I'm seeing results, but I really want to switch things up, but I'm scared that if I switch things up, then my results will leave me. That was my logic. Um, in my brain now, it's false. If you still think it's valid, then that's what you think. So before I talk about where I am now, I want to talk about some tips for workout challenges and for other things. I found challenges to be a wonderful way to restart your fitness of your life, the fitness part of your life. This is also what I recommend heavily about, like on top of that. Pick a challenge to do of your greatest insecurity other than abs. I feel like abs is kind of like, I don't know, everyone kind of thinks about it in the back of their head, but choose like an insecurity of yours, whether that's your legs, your back, your calves, your arms, whatever. For me, it was my arms. And the first workout challenge that I did was an arm workout challenge. The reason why is I enjoyed it. Instead of going into the deep end, I was in the kiddie pool by doing this. I feel like if you do jump in deep, it's so easy to then get discouraged and when you do a challenge that isn't your abs, you're building more of the habit, the discipline. Instead of like craving that like crazy burn, you're just focusing on you doing something like a little something for yourself. Please listen to this one. If it feels wrong, don't do it. I'm going to be reading off again. I have never ever wanted to go into a calorie deficit ever in my entire life and I still don't want to. When I was doing the Chloe Ting abs and my walks, I really wanted to get visible abs. Research, research took over me to figure out how I could get visible abs or to lose fat in that area. And I've always known that the answer is a calorie deficit, but I always wanted to learn if there was something else that I could do. And it does make sense. Being in a calorie deficit, if you burn more than you are consuming or the energy exerted is greater than the energy that you're inputting into your body, into yourself, being in a deficit makes sense. It's not unhealthy or anything, but within me, it just felt so wrong. I don't want to say like against my morals because I don't really know how the moral thing connects with like not wanting to go into a calorie deficit, but it felt wrong right off the bat. It was my instinct that I just never wanted to go into a calorie deficit. So where I am now? I've been doing the Emmy Wong arm workout video. I'm doing a video on that. I'm on day 10 today, so the video will be out next week. I've also been doing so many more hikes or just like walks in nature. Oh, wild. I was literally screaming at the end of it because y'all, my thighs were burning. I could cry. And those have been actually so wonderful. So great. I've been highly enjoying it. It's fabulous in my opinion. So just like why? How are we both wearing jeans right now? I'm walking up this steep mountain. And once again, I wrote a little thing on my phone. How I'm feeling right now, I feel at peace with what I'm doing, that I'm doing something good for my body. When I look in the mirror, I can breathe. Sometimes I smile, even dance. But overall, my body is a temple and I want to treat it well. I don't want to be too hard on myself and I don't think I have been either. When I'm tired, I rest. When I feel like I've been slacking, I really want to try and focus in more. I'm really hoping that I can continue these videos in more of like a vlog style instead of just me sitting down and showing y'all clips. It's just like a really nice documentation type situation of the what, nation, you know. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Check out all the links down below. Also a side note, thank y'all so much for the support recently. Like it's been so wild to me. Like my brain is 
like I can't even comprehend it every single morning I wake up like it's so wild to me so thank you so much I love you so much um, and I'll see you in a little bit